Okay, so good vibrato versus bad vibrato. Okay, so everyone plays differently, okay? And um, there's not really right or wrong, but there's one thing that you gotta keep in mind when you're doing a vibrato, and that is you have a pitch and you have a tar tarted pitch. So. Uh, one thing that I noticed that some guitarists are doing that is they take this They take the string and they bend it, but they don't return to pitch. So instead of something like this It sounds like this You hear that? And It's about pitch. I just want to introduce this topic because I I think it's a really important good topic to talk about and I just want to go through a few different um, a few different guitars that I found uh, inspirational for my own vibrato technique and one that you shouldn't be listening to too much and it's not this cliche <laughs> uh, Kirk Hammett sucks shit but there's actually a reason why his vibrato is not um, uh, the best to be inspired by. Okay, so first we have the my biggest influence as a guitarist when it comes to vibrato, and that is Adrian Smith. I'm just gonna play along. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play a click pair with him and see how it sounds like. Okay, so his vibrato is very. It's not really tied to the tempo, but it's uh, it's not out of control or anything. But it's it's pretty wide and uh, has a kind of airy feel to it. So I will just play along to this, uh, trying to get his my vibrato as close to his, to his as possible. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry, one more time. <laughs> so he plays kind of like... He's not playing like this. That's if Kirk will play it, okay? And uh, he has this. Really, really inspirational vibrato, uh, I must say. And uh, the next one is probably the. I would say he's, he's one of the like complete masters of vibrato in rock or metal. And it's, of course, Ingve. Very good example. So, uh, where was it? I will try to, to get this close to his, his playing as well. And um, his is not really tricky in theory because he's, he's very consistent and he always does very similar vibrato, but it's, uh, it's still very unique and difficult to get uh, close, but I, 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 will, I will try it. One more time. Very good example of this. Is so... He has this very... Even wider than uh, Adrian, okay? And he often goes from one note, one note lower. So if he would do, be doing the E, e here, he would go, go from here to there. And 
then we have the guy who's closest to Kirk in my list, but he does what he does is actually uh, the correct way because he doesn't bend out of pitch. I will play it. It's walking off, running wild. <laughs> controlled way like Adrian or something it would sound more like this okay <laughs> The, the right that's uh, kind of the thing with vibrato is that everyone does it differently for their personal style and uh, I, I I tend to go more with that Adrian type but with more control and more in in sync with the tempo like Ingo or something uh, and on to the next next one is of course Kirk which does similar I mean he, he does the same speed or something as uh, Rolf, but he does one thing wrong, and that is that he b bends the pitch out of tune a lot. Uh, I will show it. Yeah, we have that. I will do that, I will listen to that again. So, what he does is that... He could have been doing it correct like this. But he does it like this. Or slower. But he does it like this. Not pleasant. So this video is not really planned or anything. I'm, I'm just I'm just going from top of my head. But I, I, I will go. I will show a more uh, thought through vibrato video in the future where I can show ways to uh, practice vibrato and especially getting it in sync with different different harmonies uh, because when you're doing several harmonies you might want the all the vibrato to sync with each other so it doesn't create a mess uh, but that's for another time <laughs> 